Hi everyone, I am Pranav doing my second B.A. in NVKSD College of Education, Artur from the Department of English. Here I present before you a digital lesson plan on the topic prepositions. Prepositions. So from the word itself, it is clear that Positions. We know what is a position. Position means fixing something in a correct manner. It's known as a position. Preposition. The word pre denotes something added before. Pre denotes something before. And post denotes something after. So here from the title itself, it is clear that preposition. We can split the word as pre and position. We know what is a position. Position means the fixing a thing. And pre-position means adding something before. We shall discuss in detail about the definition of preposition. Definition of preposition. Preposition is a word that shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word so preposition it shows a relationship of a noun there will be a noun the relationship of a noun or pronoun pronoun is used instead of noun noun is a name of a person place or a thing and the pronoun will be he she it i we you they these are the pronouns so a preposition is used to show a relationship between a noun or pronoun to another word the examples of preposition are there is a dog the dog is in the box so the example is the dog is in the box here the preposition used is in so from the example we could understand that the noun here used is dog in order to mention or in order to show the position of the dog we use the preposition in in the example picture we could find a dog the dog is inside the box so a preposition is used to show a relation of a noun or a pronoun. Here the noun is dog. Dog is the noun here. In order to describe the position of the dog, we use the preposition. So in that box, the dog is there. The dog is in the box. So in order to locate the position of the dog, we use the preposition in. So from the example, the preposition used here is in is the preposition. So the definition of preposition is preposition is used to denote or describe the relationship of a noun or a pronoun. Here dog is the noun and the position of the dog. In order to mention the position of the dog, we use the preposition in. So in is the preposition used in this sentence. The next example is the dog is under the tree. The dog is under the tree. Here the noun again is the dog. The position of the dog is under the tree. There is a tree in the picture. The dog is standing under the tree. So a preposition describes the position of something so the position of the dog the position of the dog is under the tree so here the preposition used is under a preposition is used to denote or describe the position of something so that the dog is under the tree here under is the preposition The third example is, the dog is in front of his house. The dog is in front of his house. Here from the picture itself, we could find a house and a dog's cage. 
the dog is standing in front of the house so the noun is dog and in order to describe the position of the dog we use the word in front of so preposition is used to describe the position of a noun so here the preposition used is in front of is the preposition the next example is the turtle is on the table the turtle is on the table here we could find a table and above the table a turtle takes rest so the turtle is on the table here the preposition used is on the position of the turtle is above the table so the preposition used here is on the turtle is on the table the preposition used here is on next we shall discuss about the types of preposition the types of preposition there are three types of preposition they are preposition of time prepositions of place and prepositions of direction so a preposition is used to describe a relationship between noun or a pronoun and there are three types of prepositions they are preposition of time preposition of place and preposition of direction let's discuss in detail preposition of time preposition of time can express when something happens at one point in time or when something happens over an extended period of time so preposition of time it expresses when something happens at a fixed point in our time or something happens over an extended period of time the time of an actions happening or the time of something that happens is denoted by the preposition of time preposition of time can express when something happens at one point in time or when something happens over an extended period of time we could find the preposition of time through certain examples examples prepositions of time they are at in and on prepositions of time for at in and on at at is used for precise times for precise times we use at that is at 10:30 am at 8 o'clock at bed time at breakfast prepositions of time at at is used for precise times that is at 10:30 am at 8 o'clock at bed time at breakfast next is the preposition in preposition in in is used for months years decades centuries and long periods of time the preposition in in is used for months years decades centuries and long periods of time so for describing an action happening in the months for years decades or centuries or long periods we use the preposition in in the month of december or in 1947 or 
in the month of July or in 1598 or in 1600 BC. Similarly, for months, years, decades, centuries and long periods, we use the preposition in. The sum of the examples given are in 16 years time. So it's a long period. In 16 years time. In 1991. It is a year in 1991. In December. December is a month. In December. Next is the preposition on. On is used for days and dates. We use on for days and dates. The examples are on summer evening, on Christmas days, on Christmas, on Friday, on 12th July, on 25th December, on 14th November. So, on is used for days and dates. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, on 18th March, on 26th April. Similarly, for days and dates, we use the preposition on. So, the first type of preposition is preposition of time. Preposition of time denotes the time of an action or happening. So, the prepositions of time denotes at, in, and on. At is used for precise times that is at 10.30 a.m., at 8 o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast. And the preposition of in is used for months, years, decades, centuries and long periods of time. That is in 16 years time, in 1991 in December. Next is the preposition on. On is used for days and dates. On is used for days and dates. The examples are on a summer evening, on Christmas day, on Christmas, on Fridays. These denotes the time of a happening. So, the first type of preposition is preposition of time. The next is preposition of place. Preposition of place. Prepositions of place describe the position of a person or thing in relation to another person or thing. So, preposition of place, it describes the position of a person in relation to other person or thing. The time of a person or the time of certain happening is denoted as preposition of time and preposition of place locates the position of a person or the place where something or a person is there. So, that is the position of or the preposition of place. Preposition of place locates the position of a person in a certain place. Preposition of time gives importance to the time of a happening and preposition of place locates the exact location or the place of a person or a thing. Preposition of place describes the position of a person or thing in relation to another person or thing. We shall look at the examples for preposition of place. 
here is a pictorial form where we could find the location of a ball in the first picture we could find a ball there is a box to the ball is behind the box so the location or the position of the ball is described through this pictorial form in the first image we could find the ball the ball is behind or at the back of the box so the position of the ball here is behind the box so the first preposition or the preposition of place is behind the ball is behind the box in the second image we could find the ball in front of the box there is a ball the position of the ball is in front of the box so the preposition of place here is in front of the location of the ball is before the box or in front of the box so the preposition here is in front of this denotes the preposition of place or the preposition of location the third picture we could find a ball near to the box so that is next to the ball is next to the box or the ball is near to the box the ball is near to the box so the preposition of place here is next to the ball is next to the box or the ball is near to the box and in the fourth picture we could find two yellow boxes and there is a ball at the center or between two boxes so the preposition or the location here is between but there are two things and between a thing there is a ball so the preposition here is between the ball is in between two boxes or the ball is between two boxes so the preposition of place used here is between and the next picture fifth picture we could find a similar answer or similar example similar to the third picture near we could find a ball near to the box and in the third picture we could find a ball next to the box after the box so the preposition of place used there is next to in the third picture in the fifth picture we could find a ball near to the box so the ball is somewhat near so the and so of the preposition of place here is near the ball is near to the box so the preposition of place used here is near in the sixth picture we could find a ball the ball is above the box or up on the box so the position of the ball is above here the ball is above the box the ball is above the box and in the seventh picture we could find a ball under the box that is below the box so the location of the box is below the ball is below the box or under the box the ball is below the box here the preposition of place or the location of the ball is below and in the eighth picture we could find a ball inside a box so the location of the ball is inside so that is the ball is in the box here the preposition of place is in or inside so the example is the ball is in the box here in is the preposition of place the location of the ball is inside the box and in the ninth picture we could find the ball is placed upon the box so the ball is on the box from the 
sixth picture we could find a ball above the box here it also has a similar touch in the meaning the ball is on the box there is a box we placed a box or we placed a ball on the box so the position of the ball is on similar examples can be given for the cat is on the table the book is on the table the pen is on the table this all means that we have kept something upon the table so here also the preposition of place is on that means the ball is on the table the preposition of place used here is on next is preposition of direction preposition of direction this is the final type of preposition preposition of direction are used to indicate directions and give users an idea where something is directed for example across along behind between so preposition of direction gives proper direction to certain things preposition of time denotes the time of a happening or the time of an action or the time of a thing time where the thing is placed or something preposition of place describes the location the location of a person or location of a thing and the preposition of direction gives or describes the direction of something that is across along behind and between prepositions of directions are used to indicate directions and give users an idea where something is directed for example across along behind between etc the examples for prepositions of direction are above across along among around at behind below beside close to over through toward up down between by inside or in near next to on off pass under so these denotes the prepositions of directions preposition of time denotes the time of an action or time of a thing the preposition of place denotes the location or position of a thing in a proper place and the prepositions of direction gives the directions of people or the directions to certain things the examples sentences for prepositions of direction are they were traveling towards london so they are moving towards london towards this denotes the direction of a person or direction of people to london so towards it denotes the direction some people are moving towards london she likes being among people she likes being among people she likes to be in a group or she likes to be in a friend circle that means she likes being among people their house is next to the library there is a library and her house is on the way to library or the house is after the library so the preposition of direction here is next to 
their house is next to the library so their house is on their way or the house is after the library it gives a proper direction to the house so the proportion here is next to the dog is under the red car the dog is under the red car there is a car the dog is under the car i left my purse behind i left my purse behind so i denotes the direction where he left the purse her house is across from mine we saw a forest far below my uncle lives close to the supermarket so there is a supermarket and his uncle's house is near to the supermarket so the direction mentioned here is close to my uncle lives close to the supermarket so these are denotes the prepositions of directions preposition of time we use at in and on at is used for precise times we use in for years months decades and long period of time we use on for days and dates these are the preposition of time preposition of place denotes the proper place or location of a person or thing so the locations we use certain words like behind above below between on in under near beside etc and the final is the preposition of direction the prepositions of directions uses the words above across along among around at behind below beside close to over through towards up down between by in near next to on often pass and under this denotes the proper direction of something or a direction of a person to reach a place so this provides the proper directions that is the preposition of direction here are some exercises given for preposition so the first one is he went dash the market he went dash the market the answer will be he went to the market he went to the market where did he go he gone or he went to the market so the preposition is to he went to the market the next example is he lives dash a small town he lives dash a small town the answer will be he lives in a small town he lives in a small town so the answer or the proportion here is in he lives in a small town the third is i met him dash the afternoon i met him dash the afternoon i met him at the afternoon i met him at the afternoon so it is a precise time so i met him at the afternoon i met him at afternoon it is a precise time it is specifically mentioned as afternoon so for specific time we use the word at i met him at afternoon the fourth example is he took something dash the drawer he took something dash the drawer he took something from the drawer he took something from the drawer the fifth is he put the books dash the table he put the books dash the table he put the books on the table he put the books on the table 
So here the preposition is on. He put the books on the table. The sixth example is he fell, dashed the ladder and broke his leg. He fell, dashed the ladder and broke his leg. He fell from the ladder and broke his leg. He fell from the ladder and broke his leg. So here the proposition is from. The seventh example is Let's hope dash the best. Let's hope dash the best. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. So the proportion here is for. Let's hope for the best. The last example is there is someone dash the door. There is someone dash the door. There is someone at the door. There is someone at the door. There is someone at the door. So the proportion here is at. There is someone at the door. So in the first exercise or the first example, the answer is to he went to to the market. Second one, he lives in a small town. The third is, I met him at the afternoon. Fourth is, he took something from the drawer. Fifth is, he put the books on the table. The sixth is, he fell from the ladder and broke his leg. The sixth and the seventh is, let's hope for the best. The last is, there is someone at the door. So, a preposition is used to locate or denote the time or place or direction of an action or a thing. The types of prepositions are, there are three types of prepositions. They are preposition of time, preposition of place and preposition of direction. Preposition of time is denoted by at, in and on. Preposition of Place is denoted by behind, above, on, in, be, side, etc. And the preposition of direction is represented by along, across, towards, etc. So these are about prepositions.